för de som nya så kockar jag alltid ett annat placerande. A new marching column, breakthrough battle, Orkin Goblins vs Empire. Orkin Goblins start dropping because Empire choose the side. And they drop from right to left here in this frame. After the 6 drop they drop everything at the 6 drop. <coughs> Empire went from the opposite side, starting with their Gryphonites and Unbreakable Flagellants, the General on Gryphon, their Great Swords, a big bunk, shooters in front, and a great bunker of spearmen in the back, and a mortar and a cannon. Orkin Goblins have moved turn one, nothing has happened. And now is Empire, and they'll be starting to shoot to whittle down their enemy before it arrives. There are many targets running with nasty juices. The boar boys charge in with the pump wagon. The other skirmishers flee from the river trolls and giant. The orcing goblins move up into turn two. The scrap wagon is uh, lost in the center as chaff for the the Empire General, but he might overrun into the Thralls. They're prepared for that, they have the spell from Rod of Battle. One plus to hit. The Scrap Wagon overruns into the Spearman. The Savage Orc Boar Boys, Ed, Ed Bashers, do not. This is how it looks. And now the Empire will strike from the flank. Empire strikes back. Empire strikes back. <laughs> from the Middle Ages. This beautiful griffin general charges, <coughs> eclipses the flank of the Nasher hero with the rod of battle and potion of strength. The flagellant units both get in a long charge, or at least for one of them, to the pump wagon, so they're going all offensive. The griffin knights are coming from the rear. <laughs> and now it's magic and shooting. The Boar Boys fled from the Griffin General. When is there a strain there? So this is the same. Two turning up for Flame Ball for them. Get plus. The Griffin does two wounds, the Nasher hero flees, his strength attack from Potion of Strength misses. The Griffin general overruns into the Stone Trolls. Not quite prepared that they would pivot and he'd have to face two Trolls with puke attacks. The Flagellants destroy the Pump Wagon and almost overrun into the River Trolls but not quite. So that's round two Empire. Now it's round three Orc and Goblins. The board boys keep fleeing on turn three. The Nasher hero keeps fleeing and they both fail re-rollable eights. Now the savage orcs charge into the unbreakable flagellants, the river trolls and the BSP do as well. The giant and gargantula king tries to charge in as well but it was too tight. It was impossible to get in, so it was a failed charge. The Ed Bashers are in here. The Scrap Wagon lost two wounds last round, but won the combat. Now, magic. The Griffin loses a wound to the Trolls, even though he's in the flank. It's a draw. The Troll just loses one wound to the Trolls, so they reform and face him, so that will be dangerous for the general in the next <coughs> This guy is facing him as well, for the next round. The Savage Orc Boar Boys are <coughs> killed against the Spears in their charge before they can hit. Uh, defense. Uh, fear. I lose by four, so Fun. the Scrap Dragon is crumbled as well. Its last wound crumbles, and the Spearmen are safe again. The River Trolls kill eight flagellants, they stand in the battle, but the BSP loses two wounds, so this is not good. <coughs> the Savage Orc Headbashers kill all the flagellants before being struck back, but they lose five in the final death blows. They overrun in here, 
This is what you see, the miniatures in between are casualties. There are a lot of Empire casualties, but they're still going strong. And they've killed many trolls and important units. They've whittled down the spider and giant almost to death. And now it's Empire turn 4. Sorry, correction, it's Empire turn 3. And they're moving up with their great swords against the trolls and the wounded giants. The towering presences of a battlefield will soon fall. Oh, ciao. Including the grip of general, maybe. Come the general on the spider is shot down by <coughs> alchemy magic. And the spiders scream, hail death, and lose five riders, and then they flee. Come uh, on, the Griffin Riders charge the Savage The Savage Orcs kill one Griffin Rider, but they kill four Savage Orcs. They stand, however, steadfast. They're within the BSB. The BSB and Trolls kill all the Flagellants. But the General actually manages to beat the Trolls by one. And they flee on a leadership of four despite it being re-rollable. <laughs> now, Orc and Goblins turn four. The four boys rally. This Nasher hero doesn't rally. The trolls flee from combat. They lose against the griffin now. But the wolf riders walked up to chaff the griffin so he can't run them down by a charge. He has to charge the wolf riders first. This guy gets snake eyes trying to charge the griffin, so he doesn't reach it. And the savage orcs kill the last griffin with the Nasher hero on the, in their flank. The Nasher hero BSB is killed before he can use his breath attack. But they win and overrun the last griffin. <coughs> now it's Empire turn 4. He charges the wolf riders. The griffin kills the wolf riders and overruns and destroys the storm trolls. The giant is shot down by the hand gunners. The river trolls win the combat against the great swords. The great swords stand. The troll flees from combat after losing his two companions. Not as good as the last round. Have a choice. These flagellants are dead. The Griffin General had a failed charge and the Smasher hero again. The Wolf Riders rally and these warriors come from the rear against the General. We end the battle after round 4. Empire wins 20 0. And the General lives on with a damaged wing, but the honor and flag to the top. That's it for the Norwegian Championships. Thanks to Sigbjörn and Oslo Miniature Club for arranging it. We'll see you later.